I'm walking out. Late court. You already know Rikers Island stories. Rikers Island, how it goes. With the blankets. People were asking me, yo, do you have to get on for blankets or things that you need on Rikers Island? Mm, we're going to get into all that. And how I seen different authorizations happen in the cell block, you know, meaning in the housing area, on the way to court, a whole lot of things. We just going to talk Rikers Island Correctional Facility, Rikers Island, how it goes, what goes on, what to be aware of, what not to do, and what to do if you ever end up in that situation in hopes that you never do. We never glorify our stories here. Although at times it may seem so to some, but if you really pay attention, we never glorify jail. Being an inmate, being incarcerated, is nothing cute. It's nothing funny. Although at times my ignorance had me thinking it was fun. Sad. My life was sad. Boom, Rikers Island, when you first go in. <laughs> the blankets, you know what's, like, I find nutty about this blanket situation is they like rugs. It's like a rug touching your body, like a little, like a literally a rug. Like, when I see a rug in certain places, and I think that's why I dislike rugs. It reminds me of Rikers Island blankets. Like, it is crazy. Those are one of the, I don't know if it's, a, it's definitely not a comfortable blanket, but it's a blanket that you're going to need and that you're going to want a lot of them because at Rikers Island, people hog the blankets. You understand? There'll be one inmate with 10 blankets. And I was at four for that too. And you will only have one and you have an option, right? Is either you're going to put it on your mattress to be a little more comfortable so you're not sweating and you're like drooling on your mattress because it's plastic. Leave in the comments if you understand what I'm, what I'm saying. Because for some apparent reason, I know that it's because it's, those mattress, you sweat on them profusely. So, I used to take my blankets and put it on the mattress, and I had a few blankets, but at Rikers Island, there's going to be people that'll hear you saying, yo, nobody got an extra blanket, and look at you as if you're speaking a different language. Like, you ain't get it yet, son? Like, nah, man. All right, you get one. Somebody will leave tomorrow, but he got like 20 of them. <laughs> His bed is up high, you know, and it's because the mattresses are so worn out, you know, people rip the mattresses, the mattresses are going up and those mattresses have been around forever. And even when they brand new, they're not the most comfortable thing in the world anyway, right? We all know that. But yeah, you want to do that. You want to get yourself a few blankets when you get to the jail because you want to try to be as comfortable as you can. Like, who wants to be uncomfortable? Is already you're in a bad situation. You know, you're locked up. You don't want to be there. Well, <laughs> some of us don't want to be there. didn't want to be there. When I was going to Rikers Island, as sad as it may be, there was times I actually, like, I don't know if I wanted to be there, but I was having fun with it. I guess I was passing time. It's sad how I became accustomed to being there. Like, that's what my life had become. And I always thought in my head, like, I'm never going to leave here. Like, this is my life. And I, had, and I adapted to the situation so well that I was comfortable with it. And every time I was released, it felt awkward. It felt like I, I, I didn't belong out here. I, I started almost feeling like my family was at Rikers Island, because that's where my gang was at. That's where your bros is at, right? Your homies. That's where you feel like love. Like, yo, what? What's up, yo? What's popping? Yo, I'm 418, huh? Whatever, right? And it's crazy, because it became a point where I would get locked up, 
and I'll go there and I was seeing the same people, right? And I rem I recall like going into the bullpens, like when I would go to court, you know, you thinking you tough coming through, what up, what up? You know, you're going to Brooklyn pen, wherever you're going. And I would see a dude, like let's say when I was let's say when I was 20 something, I started like gaining a little more uh I don't know if it's like self-respect is the right word. Like I, I knew that I, I had to do something different fast because I was going to die. In a jail or a prison or, 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 or something was going to happen to me because I was living foul. I was doing a lot of wrong things to people at times for no apparent reason. You know, or for the smallest of things, we'll blow it out of proportion. And I would look at the older people and I'll be like, I don't want to be him. I don't want to be coming through and being 30 years old and still coming through the jail, right? I became 30 years old and I was still coming through the jail. I remember getting older than that, going in the bullpens again and saying, Man, I don't want to be like him, you know, over the past 30 years old and still coming to the jails. I became 30-something years old, and I was still coming through the jail. I remember saying when I was 30-something at a certain point, I don't want to be 40-something and still coming through the system. I became 40-something, and I was still landing in Rikers Island, still comfortable with me being there. Still comfortable with running around with the same mingle. Nothing changed. And a lot of times we say the faces change, people change. But a lot of times, leave in the comments if you understand what I'm saying. We wind up seeing the same people. It's like, wow, again? You know, at one point I started, like, feel like a little embarrassed where, you know, I almost wanted to start saying, like, you know, I never went nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I've been here, son. You know, like, I started to feel a little embarrassed. I started getting old. I knew... That something within me was changing a little bit. You know, I started doing like good deeds for people. I started making sure that people got on the phone. Like, yo, pai, you called? You know, the older man that probably was my age but looked at like way older, you know? Like, it's sad. I spent a lot of my childhood locked up, a lot of my older years locked up. These have been the last few birthdays that I've been home has been like a miracle. You know, and, and 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 still getting accustomed to it because when your people's come like yo happy birthdays like <laughs> well that's what's up you know like we almost want to make it like <laughs> like it's not in your it's like it's not it's a big thing you're home you know and it's your birthday and there's people that are trying to show you that they care and they took out the time to uh, celebrate it with you and let you know that they there, right? And that they they glad that this year you're home and that you're still alive because they too know that a lot of us are not supposed to be here. Oftentimes, we take a lot of things in the outside world for granted. Or me, and then when I'm in there, it's like, oh man, I miss my girl, I miss my family. I'm, but you know, we wasn't really worried about that out here, you know? So yeah, Rikers Island, I got real used to it. I got used to not paying bills. I got used to not being a real man. You know, I got used to being like what other people considered a gangster, which in reality is a bird. Like that's not gangster. You know, I think that what we're doing today, although some people may not want to admit to it, or some people that still uh, want to consider themselves super thugs or whatever, uh, uh, is 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 man stuff. Is gangster. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're podcasting, whether you're thinking about making content, you know, that's gangster. You're trying to do something different from you, for yourself besides the same old getting locked up. So I'm at Rikers Island, right? I told you I was going to tell you about that story. It's not playing with me. Let's move on because I start getting a little depressed. I start getting into my life and then I'm spelling out the whole book. The blankets are important when you get there, boy. Now, don't go in there going nuts for a blanket. But you need to get your blanket game up. That's a fact. The blankets are going to become a very important part of your life. You know, and even in the summertime, I needed a lot of blankets because I'm stacking to be so you could be comfortable. 
you know, and it's sad, but who wants to be uncomfortable just because you're in jail don't mean you want to be uncomfortable, you want to be, you know, those matches feel like you're sleeping on the floor, bro, sometimes, I don't know, worse than the worst of things, bro, believe me.